Hey guys, today we are going to look at the top 10 most expensive rares from Eternal Masters. Now, before we begin, these prices are hyped up and they will go down in time. It's just kind of interesting to see where the pre-orders currently are. Wasteland, a $65 rare, is pretty good. It definitely impacts the value of it more than $65 Mythic. Sylvan Library, let's say it's, I don't know, the market price is kind of weird. Let's say it's like $22.77. The cards are really in flux right now, and Sensei's Divine Top is around $25. That looks correct to me. Sylvan Library, I'm probably is going to be around $28 if I were to guess. The cards will change drastically over the next period of days, next few days. Maze of, Maze of If looks correct to me at $21, $22, probably will drop to $20. And Tomb, I think market price at $15 sounds a lot more reasonable than $55. This is TCG player Maze or TCG player. So a lot of the pre-orders haven't really been fulfilled. So we don't actually know what the price is. Enlightened Tutor. Around $12, that's probably right. So from this point on, if you can get a card in the top 10 as your rare, you pretty much make the value back retail, which is okay. Uh, definitely not, you're not going to be able to buy list uh, Enlightened Tutor for $12, but at least if you were looking for it or you were able to trade it for $12, that's not bad at all. Shardless Agent, uh, it's around $14. I've seen it around 10 this is actually for the plain chase copy. The Eternal Master copy will be slightly cheaper. But all of these cards are going to be Shardless Agent, Vindicate. It's all going to be around $10, probably a little less than $10. Green Sun Zenith is $6. So once you go down to Green Sun Zenith and Mystic Tutor, you are not making the value of the pack back from just that one card. Now you do also have a foil. And that foil could be any of these cards you know, previous could even be a foil wasteland, and that would definitely make back your money. However, for the rares, there's about currently there's nine cards which will pay for the pack at MSRP. Besides the are there's eight cards that would do that. Besides that, Mystic Tutor and Green Sun Zenith, they are the two cards in the top ten that you will not make back your money from, or you will not make back from retail trade value if you were to spend money in a pack. So eight rares that you can hit, that's pretty good. Contra Tarkir had about five of them where you could double up. Uh, and obviously they were the Fetch lands. So keep that in perspective. These packs are way more expensive, but you can also, it seems that the value is spread more evenly than something like Contra Tarkir where a Fetch land is around 20 bucks and everything else is kind of not great in the rare slot. 